It's NFL week one. We made it. Finally, we have Thursday night football, Bucks and Cowboys. Let's go. All right, first up, we're going to look at some betting stuff for the Thursday night football game using MySparty.com. You can grab the sign-up link down below in the description section. So what you're looking at right here is called the NFL Edge Report. So this is a 10,000 Sims model that runs a whole bunch of simulations, 10,000 to be exact. We're looking at, first off, the money line Edges. Then we'll have the total edges and spreads. So the betting model itself will run out all the simulations. It will pump out player projections, which you can then use for props and monkey knife fight and thrive and prize picks. You can do player props on the sports books. However you want to use them, we have 10,000 simulated game scenarios to give you projections for games and players. Now you're looking at the first one. We have Cowboys in Tampa, and the consensus has the Cowboys as plus 270 underdogs. The Buccaneers as minus 335 favorites. The Spurry model has the Bucks as minus 525. That is a big differential. Basically, our model is saying the Bucks have an 84% chance to win this game based on our 10,000 Sims. And we just got news that Zach Martin, one of the Cowboys All-Pro guards, is going to be out for this game with COVID, and that means the offensive line might have some trouble slowing down the Buccaneers' pass rush. That's slightly irrelevant to me. I think that this game is going to be won on the offensive side of the ball for Tampa, and here's why. The Cowboys struggled against the pass in 2020. They struggled against it in 2019, 2018 as well. It's been years. They have struggled to find defensive backs that can hang with wide receivers, and this is a team that if you don't get pressure on the quarterback, Chris Godwins, Mike Evans, and Antonio Brown, future Hall of Famer, will carve you up. And here's the deal. Even if you do get pressure on Tom Brady, he gets rid of the ball so quickly. This is a drastic mismatch. I completely see why the model is there. In fact, if you look back at the 2020 season, Tom Brady threw the ball 62% of the plays last season. That's crazy. 62.91% of the times the Bucs called a pass. Now, you're going to be facing a team that might struggle to getting to Tom, uh, likely will not be able to cover those three wide receivers, and they're going to be throwing the ball just about 63% of the time if they went with the 2020 ratio. That spells big trouble for the Dallas Cowboys. So what does this look like for the totals? Now, I've clicked on the totals edges, and I'm trying to see where Spari has the projections. We have the Cowboys projected implied team total at 20 and a half points and the Bucks at 31. Depending on what book you find, you can find these lines at different numbers. I've seen it as low as 29 on certain books, meaning if you were to play to Spari's uh, betting model, you would take the over on the Bucks team total. Now, when we look at the spread for the Bucks and the Cowboys, you know, Vegas consensus has the Cowboys as a dog at seven and a half points, favorite. Buccaneers at minus seven and a half. Now, the Sparry model, remember, if we go back to the money line edges, had the Bucks win chance at 84%. It had the total as the team total for the Bucks going over 20 and a half at 31. And now we also have the spread at minus 10 and a half for this first game. We are going to be looking at the player projections next. All right, so we're taking a look at the NFL projection model. Again, this is based on the 10,000 Sims that led to all of those lines, our edges, and our model grades, the graded bets. I did not show you those. Those are for another time. Now, that is all going to spit out projections for the players. Of course, how else would we get there? So here are some of the things that I've highlighted for Thursday Night Football. Number one, Tom Brady at 2.8 touchdown passes. On a lot of different sports books, you're likely to see passing touchdown props. Now, Tom Brady at 2.8 is a very interesting one. Likely gives you an opportunity to take the over on almost all of them. Now, another player that I am intrigued on using is a little bit of correlation here. If Tom Brady is going to hit the over of two and a half touchdown passes, well, then, my friend, Mike Evans likely gets one, too. And you can see our model has him for 0.9 touchdowns. Not getting a ton of receptions or yardage. That's not really Mike Evans. That's not really his career. That's not how he's used in this offense. But he will score, and he'll score frequently if healthy. Week one, fully healthy. All systems go. This offense is going to put the 
Uh, pedal to the metal, and I think they're going to absolutely explode in week one against the Cowboys. Now, why are we kind of going over these players and these projections? Well, because, my friends, I want to tell you this. Thrive Fantasy has this incredible contest, and it's basically based around player props, my friends. So they have this Thursday night football contest right now with $20,000 guaranteed. It has a first place payout of five I'm a thinking right now there's going to be some overlay as well. So what I did here is I grabbed our projections, which, by the way, if you come back by Tuesday afternoon, there will be a major update where we will have player props and props edge reports based on each player, and you'll be able to sort and filter by teams. It's going to be pretty nice. I put that into our developers today. Now, what I did is I took all those projections. I went over to the Thrive Fantasy, and I added all of our projections based on our 10,000 simulations to where the edge is. So, meaning Dak Prescott, their line is 280.5 passing yards. We have them projected for 309, likely because they're going to be playing from behind as the model had them at 10 and a half points. Underdogs, and here we go. So, you have over 280. Dak Prescott, over 25 and a half completions. No, we had him just under at 24 and a half, I believe. Zeke at 70 rushing yards. We had him under. Zeke under a touchdown, half a touchdown, and so on and so forth. I grabbed the best-looking ones based on the model. So Tom Brady under 295 passing yards. We had him at 278. Although we did have him for more than three and a half touchdowns interception combo, we had him at 2.8 projected passing touchdowns and point eight interceptions. That's 3.6. That's very close, but I think there's even potential for him to throw four this game, especially if they're going to hit that 31 point projected team total. Ronald Jones Jr. under 68 and a half rushing and receiving yards. Again, Giovanni Bernard will take away those receiving yards from him this year, and you always got to worry about Leonard Fournette working in between the 20s over Ronald Jones Jr. Now, how does this work? If you are playing this, you're going to make 10 picks you got to get as many as you can correct but there's some strategy involved your goal is to add up the most amount of points that you can now an easier pick and the reason why i showed this one like this one saying under on chris godwin the easier the pick the less points that you receive for getting it correct now there's a strategy here involved where you kind of got to pick those lines that are very difficult where you can get a lot of points if you hit it correctly. That's why you saw and heard me read out a lot of lines where, oh my goodness, Ronald Jones Jr. projected rush, rushing or 64 and a half. That's so close to this line. Why would you take that? Well, that's because if you take the under, you can get 95 points. Tom Brady, if you get this right, over three and a half combined touchdowns and interceptions, you get 120. That is a massive amount of points. So, you don't want to go through and just take all the gimmies, you know, 75 points under, 85 points over, 75 points, because you won't get enough points to end up high in these tournaments. You got to get inside the top 10 if you want to make a pretty penny. So fortune favors the bold. Best of luck, my friends. Again, you can use promo code donuts, promo code donuts, and you can get the hook up over there. They will match your deposit up to $100 if you use promo code DONUTS. You can grab that link down below in the description section as well. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Again, you can grab the Spari model in the description section. It's very cheap, very affordable. I'd love for you to take a peek. And if you get signed up, reach out to me on Twitter at DFS and Donuts. Holler at me. Let me know you got it. You're ready to sign up or you want to ask me a question or two. After you do, find me in Discord. I can't wait to talk to you and the other Spari members in our Discord chat. we got a chat set up for y'all. Everyone's shouting out plays, talking about all things DFS and betting. It's, it's a lot of fun. So hopefully I see you in there. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day.